Hi guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I am gonna show how to make this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So first step, let's create new solid layer for background. Right mouse, new and solid, add name background, click OK. Then go to FX preset, search effect fill. Select this fill used for this background and go to color. Let's select color white. Click OK and lock background. Then go to shape layer, select this rounded wrencher tool or press Q in the keyboard. And hold shift, make one rounded tool. Click selection tool and go to fill. Change color blue. Click OK. Let's see. OK. Change shape layer name. Object 1. And open Rangel 1 here. Open Rangel Part 1. Change roughness like this for smooth. Let's change 50. OK. And select this object 1. Let's go to window, enable a link, click this icon and this icon for move to center. Then go to here, let's enable title action save and hold control press air. Go to here, hold this and move to here like this. And again hold left mouse, move to right. Okay, nice. So this is our center area and let's select this object, select this object, press S, hold shift, press P and make new scale keyframe. Change scale 0, go to 10 keyframe for shortcut you can use hold shift, press page down in the keyboard and change scale 110, go to 10 keyframe again, change 95. Go to again 10 keyframe, change 100. So this is more keyframes for bones effect. Select these keyframes, make easy ease. Let's see. Okay, not bad. Select these keyframes, hold Alt, move to left. Let's see again. Okay, let's hold Alt, move to right a little bit. Let's see again. Nice. So in this time select this object, go to first second, make new position keyframe and move to down, go to here, move to up, go to this keyframe, move to down, go to last keyframe, move to center. Let's see. Okay, select keyframes, make easy, let's see. Nice, select these all keyframes, hold Alt, move to right for slow animation. Okay, not bad. So in this time select this object, Ctrl D for duplicate, again Ctrl D for duplicate. Select this object 2 and object 3, let's press P. And select this object 1, press P for see only these keyframes. And in this time, make new position keyframes. Go to here. And select this object 3. Move to right. Select this object 2. Move to left. Let's see. Okay. So, select these keyframes. Move to left. Let's see again. And in this time, let's create new null object. Right mouse, new and null object. Let's change name, shape, controller. And hold control and double click this icon for move to anchor point center. Then click selection tool and move to here. And select this object 1, object 2 and object 3. Pair onto this shape controller. Okay, and select this object 3, object 2, last position keyframes. Go to graph editor 
and let's select this graph move to left let's see and select this graph move to right let's see okay not bad so back to chain frames select this last chain frames move to right for slowly moving okay so in this time select this shape control let's press p and in this time make new position chain frame go to five chain frame one two three four five let's move to down go to three chain frame one two three move to up go to three chain frame again one two three select first chain frame control c control v let's see okay nice select chain frames make easies good i like it so in this time select this object 3 close chain frame and object 2 close chain frame and this object 1 close chain frame go to here search color and in this time make color chain frame for object 3 and make color chain frame for object 2 and go to here change color let's select yellow click ok and this color change red click ok let's see nice so let's click x for delete this color and let's see full project ok nice ok in this time go to last shape frame and go to pen tool let's zoom and hold shift make one line click selection tool and if you not see this color go to fill and select this none and go to stroke right here stroke width let's change eight okay and change name line one and open line contents shape one and stroke change butt cup to round cup for smooth finish lines click section tool and so close settings go to add and select these team pads and let's go to solo go to first second open here team pads change start zero and make end chain frame go to 10 chain frame change zero and go to here make new start chain frame go to here change zero select chain frames make easy let's see okay not bad let's select the start chain frame move to left nice select chain frames go to graph editor let's make smooth graph select this chain frames let's move to left and this move to right okay select this start chain frame move to left and this move to left okay good so let's select this line close settings go to unsolo and select this line move to right let's see move to right again okay let's move to center let's see okay not bad let's move to right this and select this line move the back these circles move to down okay not bad and select this line ctrl d for duplicate move to right this copy let's see move to right again and go to stroke color change dark red click ok or change blue select this and select this blue color let's see
Okay, not bad. And select this line too, move to left. Nice. So in this time, select this line 1 and line 2, Control D for duplicate, move to up. Okay. And right mouse, go to here, select flip horizontal. Okay, let's see. Let's move to right, these lines. Move to left. And move to back. Let's change color yellow. And this, this line red, this blue. Okay. So select this line, red line. Let's see. Okay. Go to stroke and select this yellow color. Let's change to dark. Click OK. Let's see. Nice. So in this time select these lines. Let's hide layers and click here for hide all layers and select this object too let's press U and in this time let's control D and let's cut layer and move to right let's see okay press S let's close these K frames and go to here change scale 50 let's see okay not bad and in this time select this object for control D move to right chain scale 35 or 20 let's see nice and close and select this object 3 Ctrl D for duplicate, let's press U for CK frames. And in this time, let's go to edit, split layer. Select this, delete, and select this object 7, press S, close scales, change 50. And move to right, let's see. Nice. And select this object 7, Ctrl D. Move to right, press S, change to enter. Let's see. Nice. Let's see full project. Good. So let's add our layers. Let's select this. Add name. Yellow. Scale. 20 and this yellow scale 50 and this yellow main then select this let's go to here okay change red scale 20 and this red scale 50 and this red main and this uh, blue main okay easy select these layers click for motion blur and enable here motion blur let's see nice so thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck